How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Toy Table. I'm your host Steve and once again it is past Bale's bedtime. Some more late night bump and grind racing here at the Toy Table. Not sure whether I said it already. I am your host Steve and let's just give you a quick update. Bump and grind number 13 is about to start. Give you a quick look at contestants row and literally everybody is zero and zero. It's basically a brand new game. Haven't seen any of these contestants out, but we all know they've been driven, you know, rolled down in on onto the show. Still two guests from Thanksgiving party. The old fashioned hams. Forgot the S. Sports card 24-7. I do got another team here for you. Says he likes those uh Cobras and 32 Fords. So eventually we'll work those in for you once we figure out what those hams are going to do. The greens, Peaker's Peak, Sporting Lifers, Leather Options, Driven by the Worm, and of course our champs, our defending champs, 7-1 and one record, the beers, Driven by Hot Wheels, Fever Addict. There's the boot. They're going to need an opponent here, and that's what we got the dice for. 1-6 to six tells us who's going. First one to three down the line. We'll move on. We got the Sporting Lifers. Gary's Diecast Collection. A couple of match boxes there. Let's see how they can handle the track against these beers. All right, on the left there is Sporting Lifers. Couple Lamborghini SUVs versus the beers. First one to three. One car from either team just needs to cross that line first to get the points. Bumping and grinding are encouraged on that open lane to get to that line. One, two, three, go. Matchbox is pulled up on the start, but don't have the straightaway speed as they each get into the wall. Let's see another try at it. One nothing, the beers. All right, we switch sides here. One nothing, beers. Oh, this time it's the Cockney Cab finishing first. The normal favorite baseline chugga 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 to the end. And unfortunately, these two matchboxes here, not up to the task. Down 2 nothing, looking to go down 0-1. All right, here we go. Back to the top of the hill. One, two, three, go. Yeah, off the start, this red one is quick. It's the GG sometimes, but not able to hold the speed. Those riveted tires, those rib tires, probably not the best on this racing surface versus the slicks. But anyways, beer is going to go 8-1. Sporting Lifer is going to live another day, but hopefully face another opponent. All right, Sporting lifers down 0-1, but they... Don't have two losses yet. Eight and one record now on the beers. Everything stays the same. But let's go back and roll. Find another opponent. And it's going to be a six. And we got the leather options driven by the worm. I think it's like another couple match boxes. I just like to I, I like to reuse the cars that I have. And I just like to find them. So yeah, you just never know. We got the 15 Mercedes Benz. And then this guy could be quick here too. We got the 2016 Alfa Romeo Gilia. One of these is on the red team, which I think won our uh, color challenge there for the Hot Wheels Racing League. Anyways, debuting the worm leather options versus the beers. All right, we're ready to go. Leather options are on the left. The beers are on the right in their championship start. One, two, three, go. Pretty even down the hill. We got three wide across the lane, but it's the baseline. Just able to hold on there at the end. And it's one nothing. the beers. All right, let's see whether those leather options are a little more familiar with the track and the length. We got to get to the line. Got to run race full. One, two, three, go. Nope, this time it's the top lane there. The Cockney Cab. As these two are battling out, they slowed down, and it's 2 nothing now. The beers, not a bad effort here by the Worms cars. All right, chip in a chair, but it's rare. Sometimes teams come back 0-2. It's just the middle lanes that might do the trick. One, two, three, go. 
Romeo once again gets out to a good start, but not able to hold the speed and the beers. Nine to one, a little victory lap here. Let's go back up to the toy table and sort it all out. Nine and one now, gonna need another opponent. And just looking over it, I didn't realize even watching the last show with you guys that all six teams were 0 and 0. So it was gonna take a little bit of time for a little bit of some more shakeup, bring some more teams down. I've got teams ready to go here. Got more teams ready to go. Some of your requests, they will slowly get filtered through, just like the names in the bucket there. That's kind of the hook. You gotta keep coming back. If it's your team with the turn, you kind of get a lot of air time there. And uh, sometimes you're like a Mo Sislak and you're out of here in two rolls. You gotta wait again. But that's the game. Bump and grind number one. Hanging a left. Hang a left. Driven by Collector Hall, former 12 0 champ himself. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. All right. A couple NASCAR style impals there. Each Hot Wheels. Going against baseline in the cockney cab. First one to three, we'll get the boot. One, two, three, go. Nice easy start. Those impalas are gonna be left way behind. The red one, thought it was a parade speed. Okay, let's give them another chance. We might only need two on this one. All right, let's see if the, <laughs> the hang a left can have a better effort here. One, two, three, go. That's a better start than the two champs. Make it. This is in contention for our slowest team that actually makes the line. So let's remember this. 2 nothing. Let's move it on. They're down 0-1. They're not coming back. These guys are like almost done the line by the time these guys get to the bottom of the hill. So let's go back to the top of the table and find another opponent. All right, 10 and one, there you go. It doesn't have very, happen very often. I had to make a new sticker here. Oh, it's right here. I lose them all the time. Anyways, 10 and one, they just need one more victory to get into that sandwich bag of fame as 11 one boot champs. And then we move on, we find some more champions. Okay, so let's roll it again and see what's gonna happen here. We got number five, we got the Sporting Lifers. Oh, just padding their stats against these matchboxes, but the beers, hey, they'll take it. All right, one, two, three, go. And once again, covering those outside lanes is the baseline and the Cockney Cab for the beers, one nothing. All right, Sporting Lifers down one. Sometimes that baseline, that's going to run into trouble in some championship down the road when he doesn't perform like the fast one he should. But it's 2 nothing now. All right, not much bumping and grinding in this show so far. I haven't had too much luck with the close races. But let's end this one off with a bang with another 11-1 or eleven and one champ. Well, let's see it go, Beers. With the whole shot, the baseline takes care of the business. The killer croc out of a five pack does pretty well in the open lanes with some baseboard. Let's go to the top of the table for the update. All right, congratulations there, Hot Wheels Fever Attic. There's your baseline in the sandwich bag of fame right next to those big air Bel Airs. And we got a whole bunch of shifting to do on the toy table here. Because the fifth slot's open and we need a new champion. So so by my recollection, well, I guess we're just bringing one. Yeah, yeah, my math was wrong. But anyways, we got our next two teams coming down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Diecast Racing Review. You didn't make that list, but definitely should be added. We'll put that into the bucket there. Anyways, let's see who's coming down. Porsche Support going to go over. Even going to be the Sports Card Collector's Trotters or Austin Advantage. And it's an even. The two 70s Ford Escorts. Coming down. 
once I get these ticker tapes there, we all get it. They're zero and zero. Forgot to do it all. Anyways, so Scorpio Love Smith's going over. And let's bring full full frontage over. Couple matchbox 300 series. And let's go up. And we're going to take RP Toys. He loves his motorbikes. So yeah, we're going to... That's the difference. We're going to roll twice here. Find a couple challengers. And the boot is open, folks. Starting a whole new speed. Number three. The greens, finally. Going against number three again. Can't go against yourself. And number two. Oh, our last two Thanksgiving guests. Just can't write it any better, folks. Storylines just keep continuing. It's the Greens, driven by H.W. Car Vichos and the Old Fashioned Hams, driven by Sports Card 24-7. All right, the two matchboxes, the two oldies on the left for the hams, and the greens are the green ones. One, two, three, go. Nice and even down the road, and look at those two, the Bonnie and Clydes. Take the first point. Stay in each other, out of each other's way, and one nothing for the sports card collectors, the old-fashioned hams. All right, guys, I know it's late, but I wasn't expecting to run that fast on that lap. one nothing. Uh, what are they called? Oh, yeah, the old-fashioned hams. Too many names, guys. One, two, three, go. And once again, look at the teammate. They stack each other in front. Don't collide. Slow those greens down. Who likes the vegetables anyways? 2 nothing, and the greens are going to go up the middle. All right, old fashioned hams up two. One, two, three, go. Nope, it was the velocity. I forgot the, uh, or this is a fast felon. That one won. I forgot to do the introductions on these guys, and I just don't know what this one's called. Let's call it the wood chipper. Who knows? And uh, yeah, back to the top. Two, one now. Got a little bit of a race. Got tight there. And we're at the top here, two, one now. Uh, old fashioned hams. One, two, three, go. Gates are dropped. That's the two matchboxes out in front. And that's teamwork. Haven't seen too much teamwork tonight, but that guy did the dirty work, knocking out the greens. And we got a new champ. That's why we run them all, guys. That's matchboxes. Couple matchboxes. Fresh from the pack, mind you. But they are boot champs in a pretty fast pace. Let's go to the top of the table. Let's get one more race in here before we close it off. All right, there you go. Congratulations. You're on top of the boot world. One and no chance, or one and no chance, hopefully, going up to 12 and 0. You just never know in this style of racing. You just can't write these things, and I can't call it fast enough either. So we got another spot down here on number two. Even is going to be Porsche support, driven by Scorpio Love Smith. Otherwise, it's going to be an odd. Or if it's not, it's going to be Advantage Aston. Skoka Card Collector. And we're going to bring down these Porsches. A couple of 911s there. Down under the two spot. Scorpio Love Smith. What's going on from San Francisco? Or Niagara Falls to San Francisco. And let's bring over plenty of seating now. A couple Chevy Nomads. Each from, yeah, the Quarter Century Hot Wheels Mainline Super Tournament. That's one's a 2018 Mainline. Both 2018 Mainlines. And, oh, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Duh. Yeah, I, was, I got ahead of myself. Got ahead of myself there. Bringing up two teams. Huh? I knew we were going to need two teams. One's the, yeah. Anyways, bear with me. Look at that. Diecast Racing Review into the bucket and out of the bucket. Still on the top. Clearly not shuffled very well. Sorry, guys. But that's the way it goes. You just never know on what, how well that team's going to go. And let's do a quick one here. Let's see whether these guys can't defend their championship. Those old fashioned hams against 
the very number twos we just dealt and Porsche support versus the old fashioned hams. Let's go to the track. Old fashioned hams versus Porsche support. Porsche supports debut on the toy table raceway. One, two, three, go. Look at the black 911 go. But once again, the square bodied body and Clyde's, those bumpers come in handy. Sending the Porsches out of their way. And it's one nothing now. The hams. All right, here we go. One, two, three, go. Matchbox has performed once again. Although this guy down here, Scorpio, pretty fast. Just not fast enough. You just never know about those O2 tournaments. It looks like we got another 2 0 champ to just need one more time. All right, that black Porsche has been pretty impressive to watch. Those door panels might be fused shut want to watch that in slow motion as they have been grinding just a little slow on their time one two three go that time the damage had been done clearly it not able to do it but there you go sports card collector 24 7 spell it out go check it out his channel he is your new boot champ heading into the next show let's go to the toy table for a little bit of a wrap up all right, those old-fashioned hams, 2-0, and oh, way to go, nice racing. But anyways, we're going to end it off here just to take a quick look at Contestants Row in case it gets shuffled up here. But tune in next time as we're going to shuffle things up pretty good, I think, as we've got four teams at 0-1 dangerously going into the sandwich bags of fame, or, or sorry, shame, and uh, yeah, I think we shake things, shake things up pretty good so far on this show. Um, we just got to see leather options. Brought these guys down. Haven't seen these guys. I know they're dangerous. Got the greens, Porsche support. And unfortunately, those guys look like the slowest team of the whole lot. We'll have to try better next time there, Collectorholic, as we filter a few teams out. Of course, we got more teams ready to go. And as always, once again, guys, thanks again so much for uh, tuning into the toy table. Always so much fun to do. It's the holidays. Be safe out there. Just in general, over and above what's going on in the general public. And uh, look forward to seeing you again here at the toy table. Some of your comments and some of your picks as I get. I need to get my act together and get some of these uh, brackets. Kind of. Figured out how, how I want them to go for you guys to have some fun. Anyways, as always, until next time, keep those tires pumped and racing.